Hey, what's up, y'all? Serena Vincent back up in here, exploring life like always. You know it's time for 2024 NBA. That's the National Basketball Association Finals Championship Series, whatever you want to call it. The NBA Finals going down, I think today's game one, between the punk-ass Boston Celtics and the um, Dallas Mavericks. All right, first I'm gonna give you my pick, but if you already know me, you already know who I'm gonna pick. But let's go back to the NBA conference round, conference finals round between, uh, and I'll give you my pick results and my thoughts on the game a little bit. As you know, the uh, let's go back to the Western Conference. Western Conference, it was between the Dallas Mavericks taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Man, this series, I had the Minnesota Tim Timberwolves, so I got this series wrong. Uh, Timberwolves, man, everybody, he's going back to it. It's the young, uh the young guys timberwolves i mean they're not so young they've been in the league more multiple years already um and i picked the timberwolves to get it done they did not they lost to the dallas mavericks uh mavericks kyrie Irving, and then luka donch just doing their thing man if they if they stay on point they can win but as you can tell i believe the the minnesota timberwolves did win one game uh uh and um uh, i got that pick wrong like i said i think carl anthony towns needs to show out a little bit more uh, and Rudy Gobert, he was a no-show. I mean, I, I think even on defense, uh, he was a no-show. Uh, cor correct me if I was wrong. So I got that pick wrong. I think Ant-Man too. He needs to be more consistent uh, with the points. I mean, I know he's a he's a very uh, fire uh, like a firecracker type of player, uh, but he needs to be more consistent with the points. And him and Towns going off with those points. Like I said, the star uh, in the NBA playoffs, man, you have two stars. Or you don't have three, but two stars, you have to get 35 points each or 30 and 30. That's the way I look at it in the playoffs. You know, or, or if not, you if you don't need to get 30 and 30 because you're very, uh, the other team, your other teammates are pitching in, that's that's good. But that's the way I expect uh, major stars to play in the playoffs. But Minnesota Timberwolves couldn't get it done. And as you know, and you can tell, the Dallas Mavericks are your 2023, 2024 NBA season Western Conference champions. So they're moving on to the NBA Finals. So I got the pick wrong. Uh, next is the Boston Celtics taking on the Indiana Pacers. The Pacers, man, did I think the Pacers, did they win one or they got swept? I think the Pacers got swept. Uh, I had the Indiana Pacers with the upset, try to shock the world. Uh, that, they did not get it done again. I think there might be an echo. Totally, um, you know, uh, Tyrese Halliburton ends up getting injured. Uh, how many in all the teams Boston played injuries right injury plagued uh, didn't face Miami they didn't face Jimmy uh, Jerry, uh, Jimmy Butler uh, who else did they play against after Miami who was it um, who was it after that Miami they played against um, but whoever all the people they played against basically either had their stars injured or somebody got hurt I don't care though, you know, whatever, you man. To me, it's all good. You know, you win, you win. That's all what you do. So, the Boston Celtics, the league's favorite, the media's favorite. Uh, they, uh, let's see if they can finally get it done. Uh, but they did defeat the Indiana Pacers. I believe they did sweep them. And um, they moved on to the, they are your 2023 2024 Eastern Conference champions. So, they can, like I said, they can put, a, let's put another date on that Eastern Conference championship banner. Um, that's what's cool about that. I don't know if the NBA gives out baby rings as well. I know the NFL does. When you win your conference, you do get a little ring. I call it baby ring because it's not the Super Bowl. It's not the championship ring, but it is your conference. That means you are the best of your conference for that year, for that season. So that's what's up. That's what's going down. Indiana Pacers, man, this, I think this, this just sucks when people get injured, but that's the way sports goes. But, you know, yeah, the Boston Celtics did what they had to do without Porzingis, whatever. And that was that. Uh, I think Indiana was supposed to win some of those games. Giving up leads is unacceptable. Uh, you can't give up leads, man. You got to put the throat. You got to put the foot on the throat, uh, or just keep shooting up. See, that's the problem, man. You got a 14 point lead, 17 point lead, whatever. You got to just don't be going after the threes no more. And outside, so if you do hear sirens, my bad. Um, you can't be going after these threes, man. Just keep shooting easy buckets. Go to the damn, go to the bucket. Shoot these mid rangers, man. But these motherfuckers keep shooting threes and then missing all the easy shots and stuff, man. You just got to stay consistent with the points. But, you know, Boston did what they had to do. They, they came back from when they were down. So Indiana couldn't do what they would have to do. And, of course, they had injuries. So it is what it is. Next. All right. And here it is, baby. 2024 NBA Finals. It is between the 
Dallas Mavericks, and the Boston Celtics. As you know, fuck the Boston Celtics. That's me. I don't like the Celtics. I'm a Lakers fan. I'm a Raptors fan and a Wizards fan. But I'm a Lakers fan. I can't stand the Celtics. I know right now the Lakers franchise and the Boston Celtics franchise are tied for, you know, how many championships? 17, um, I believe. The Dallas Mavericks will defeat the Boston Celtics and upset the world. I think, I don't know right now, I was listening to the Talking Heads at ESPN or anything like that, or, uh, but I know some people are doubting Boston, but Boston is still the favorite. Hair's kind of fucked up, huh? <laughs> Boston is still the favorite to win. Uh, I believe they are, um, but the Dallas Mavericks, I think, can get it done. If Luka goes off, Luka does what he has to do, and Kyrie contributes and does what he has to do, who's going to stop him? Who's going to... Uh, defeat the uh, Boston, uh, the, the the Dallas Mavericks, if both of the stars do go off. Um, so that's why I'm taking. I think the Dallas Mavericks to defeat the Boston Celtics in five games. I don't like doing the games things, but that's the way I think it's going to happen. It might go all the way to seven, but I think if Dallas takes control and Dallas does what it has to do, but remember, they got the Boston Celtics, who they got three, they got four stars, technically. If you want to call Drew, 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 Drew Holiday, if you want to count him as a star, you can, can, can not. If Porzingis does what he has to do, too, uh, you know, Jalen Brown and Tatum, it's going to be hard to stop. But I think the Dallas Mavericks can get it done, taking the Dallas Mavericks to defeat and upset, I think the underdog, I might be wrong, but an upset the Boston Celtics and become the 2024 NBA Finals champions. The Dallas Mavericks and Luka gets his first ring. Kyrie gets his second ring without LeBron, without anybody else's help except Luka. But hey, he did what he had to do, you know, earning his spot, doing what he has to do, sticking to basketball, focusing on basketball. And I do, I did like his platform. Like he said, he uses his platform to help people to, to basically spread his message or to do what he has to do. I get it. You know, some people didn't like what he spot talked about, um, talking about, you know, um, uh, a documentary that kind of painted Jewish people in a certain way, but hey, man, that's his his his, his that's his thing, that's his prerogative. Uh, but basketball wise, basketball skills, great skills, man. So I want to see the Dallas Mavericks defeat the punk ass Boston Celtics. That's just the way I go. I mean, I can't, I can't, I just don't like the Celtics, man. Doesn't mean I don't pick them. I rarely do, but I'm taking the Mavericks to get it done and bring Dallas their second title. Uh, Another white guy helping Dallas win. <laughs> I mean, Dallas win a championship, man. Remember Dirk? You know, he wasn't, he's not the only guy, but Dirk and Jason Kidd. Now it'd be cool if Jason Kidd gets a champion as a coach to the same team he got a championship as a player. And uh, another white guy, Luca, helping the Dallas Mavericks win, man. So that's who I got Dallas Mavericks over the punk ass Boston Celtics in five games. As always, thank you for exploring the arena. We call off your homie, Arena Vincent. Vincent 365 Production. Novello, you know what to do, give me a like, give me a share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the description below will be a link to my podcast. Check it out there. I'm trying to drop a new episode, but I've been lagging it on recording, but check out all the other episodes. I only do one, I try to do one episode a month, but I've been lagging it uh, and everything else down there. But two, if you agree or disagree with my prediction, let me know. That's what the comment section's for. All right, as always, who do I got? Dallas Mavericks, defeating the Boston Celtics in five, baby. Peace.